in our slap tear is, is there's, uh, in the shoulder joint, which is just purely a ball and socket joint, there's actually a cartilage lip that runs around the socket to help deepen the socket. And that cartilage lip is called the labrum. And on top of that labrum, or attaching at the very peak of it, is the biceps tendon uh, that comes from the biceps muscle. And what a slap lesion or a slap tear is, is when people start to tear that cartilage or detach that piece of cartilage from away or away from the uh, uh, rim of the socket. Traditionally, uh, where most of the research has been done with slap tears or tearing of this labrum uh, is in throwing athletes. We see it very commonly in pitchers. Uh, we see it in people who do racket sports. Uh, and really what is thought to happen is over time, just from repetitive motion and the big stresses of, of throwing or the racket sport, is you actually use the biceps tendon to start to pull that piece of cartilage away. Other ways that people get slap lesions, I've seen people fall uh, and they put their arm out to try to stop themselves and they actually cause a tear of the cartilage that way. Uh, diagnosis of a slap tear, that's, that's been traditionally a, a difficult uh, proposition. Uh, first, you get a history, you know, whether this is a throwing or a racket athlete, uh, or was there a history of trauma where they fell on their arm and felt something give or pop. Uh, looking at the shoulder on physical exam, uh, there's some tests that we do to try to pull and tug on that labrum uh, to try to basically elicit pain to see if we can make it hurt. Uh, that gives us an indication there might be a problem there. Uh, our imaging studies, though, the uh, MRI, is our best non-invasive way of looking at that piece of cartilage in the shoulder. And although it's our best non-invasive way of looking at it, uh, there's actually a pretty high uh, percentage of false negatives uh, on that study. With uh, tears of the labrum or the slap tears, uh, treatment is really dictated uh, more by how much it interferes with the person's activity, whether it's their job activity uh, or sporting activities or recreational activities. If they don't get many symptoms very often uh, and they want to live with it, you go ahead and let them live with it. Uh, otherwise, if it's really interfering by getting caught or tugged and pulled on or causing pain or mechanical symptoms, uh, that's when you think of surgery. And to fix these, uh, it usually plays out one of two ways. If there's just some fraying of the cartilage, uh, we can get by with just trimming back the loose edge that's getting caught. But if the cartilage is totally detached, as well as the biceps tendon totally detached and unstable. Then we have to reattach that back down to the bone. And we do all that arthroscopically.